Okay, okay. Right. Hey up everybody. My name's John Grant, senior lecturer at Sheffield Hallam. Um, I changed my career in 1986 when I realised this was quite important and realised that uh, being a town planner really wasn't what I wanted to do, but that housing was part of the solution. Uh, and so since then, um, I've been sort of trying to direct the world by raging at it, which let me tell you, that doesn't work. But I've, I, I can't stop myself. I just can't <laughs> stop myself. Um, so um, the, my, my presentation here is, is close to animation. I have so many slides, so don't <laughs> blink because you're going gonna to miss them. So, you know, the, the, what, what I'm talking about here, there are a few things that you get to choose. And one of the few things that you get to choose is what you put in your mouth, what you eat. Sorry, that sounded inappropriate. I'm sorry if that did. Uh, but but, but what, what, what you eat is, is, is a choice, is a choice. And so this idea of a plant-based um, diet, or I'm going to go out on a bit of a limb in that I don't eat meat or dairy, but not because I don't want to. I would really like to. And my plan is to create a, an environment where I can produce some meat that I can eat ethically. So I'm not these wonderful people who can't hurt animals, uh, eat animals because they can't bear hurting them. I'm quite a bad person on that <laughs> one. I'm afraid I've done the courses. I've done the courses. I can skin a rabbit. I can kill a rabbit. I can, I can do a chicken if I need to. That, all that thing. Oh, if you had to kill it, you wouldn't eat it. Oh, no. No. Right, so it's about food. Humans, we're having an effect. This is Mexico City. This isn't CGI. This is real. Well, this is not about necessarily climate change. This is about what we're doing to the planet. And we are heating it up. There are some situations that we're uncomfortable with, even here in the UK, which is one of the most resilient places in, on the planet with regards to climate change, which you'd be pleased to hear about. Yeah, there's only three. I haven't got time to talk about the other two, but the UK is one of them. You know, and, and we're, we're seeing some quite desperate e experiences from people. And there isn't a, a traditional way to stop this. We can't bomb him into... I, I hate it when people say we're going to fight climate change. Really? No. No, we're not. No, we're not. But it's quite serious. 32 years now, every month in a row has been <laughs> higher than the average temperature. That's of some concern. And while the end of times is... <laughs> full of unimaginable horrors. The pre-end time does offer some huge opportunities for profit. And I think I'm right on this one, even though there are a number of people who disagree with this. Now, I've been teaching about autonomous houses. Autonomous houses are houses that are off-grid, off the water grid, off the electrical grid. Um, and they're great. They've been around for about 25 years. This is in Southall, built by the Vales. Um, but we need to go further than that, because food is the key point on this. Urban food. We need to grow food locally. But the problem is, our soil is in catastrophic decline. Evidence is that we only have 60, 60 harvests left on the planet. And if that doesn't make you sit up and think, I don't know what does. Half of you, your nitrogen is manufactured. This is not right. And the food that we eat could be as much as 50% of our global warming effect. So, there are some glorious images that we can see for the future. And all of it is very high tech, but none of it has to be unnatural. Because fish poo, the poo, when you put it into an aggregate, gets turned into nitrates. The plants eat the nitrates, clean the water, which you can return to the fish, and you can eat the fish. Meat, boom. Yes, there we have it, sustainable meat. Um, and we've been experimenting. I've been experimenting with this. Uh, my research, my PhD, is to try and establish a 50 to 80% um, internal, within a house, food production. And what will it look like? Well, I've been playing around, actually, in my office with a version of this. This is an outdoor one. It's part of my PhD. There's a number of other people. Here, University of Sheffield, University of Liverpool. This is the Sheffield system. They're about to close it. The university's given me the roof of one of their buildings to build a farm. Yes, we're going to be doing that over the summer, which is going to be fun. But in the meantime, uh, I built one on my windowsill. 
And this is the product of oh, my environmental health and uh, person, uh, the health and safety man, he gave me such a hard time. Don't put 150 litres of water on your windowsill. Don't do that. It, you have to, it, it's not good. But I've managed to do this. And uh, one week growing from seed, this is my windowsill. One week, two, three, four, five. That's, that's, that's what I've managed to do. And I'm hopeful because, you know, uh, the, the, re the result where we are now, I am going to be a doomer here and say we're off the cliff. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to say it, but we're off the cliff. Putting the car in reverse is not going to do anything because we're off the cliff. But we need to jump into the back seat. We need to rip the panels off and, and forge rudimentary <laughs> parachutes, <laughs> jump out of the car and survive a hard but survivable landing. Thank you. <laughs>